Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the photo editing uploader demo. Uh, as you can see here, I am in the dashboard and you'll have the ability here to select any of our services from photo editing, virtual staging, property sites, virtual assistants, video editing, uh, or any of our other systems such as our CRM, our team page to add sub accounts. We also offer storage and you'll see some additional account settings down here. Uh, for this demo, I'm going to go through photo editing. So here you'll see a couple of different ways that you can order by clicking the left hand menu in the new order button here by going and clicking this big order photo editing button on the dashboard or going over here to place order and hitting photo editing. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into step one of our uploader. In here, you'll see that by default, all orders will be real estate photo editing. We do offer clipping and portrait editing as well as an EVA test. An EVA is an editing virtual assistant that we connect you directly to an editor on our team to help improve quality and consistency. So if you're looking to go that route, feel free to let us know and we can activate that setting in your account for you. Uh, the next one here is the order information. The first thing we're gonna do is add a title. And I'm also going to go ahead and select a realtor. Uh, I have a realtor plugged in already, uh, but if you did need to add in a realtor that you didn't have in here already or a client, you can go ahead and click that plus button. But I shot earlier today for Pat Smith, so I'm going to attach him there. Uh, that's great for tracking orders for agents and also delivering photos to those agents after the edits are done. Uh, we also then over here have your turnaround options, anywhere from 12-hour turnaround all the way up to 48-hour turnaround uh, we do offer. There is an additional little charge for a 12, 15, or 18-hour rush. We can also upload multiple batches at once by clicking the little plus button there. And once we're all good in that section, we're going to flip that button over to you. Next is our export settings. You'll see here that by default, you get two export options. You can add a third for free. Uh, and the exports will come back as either JPEG 70, so a lower resolution JPEG, a JPEG 100, which is a higher resolution JPEG, or a TIFF file. I typically recommend the JPEG 100 should be fine for most of the work that you would be doing. Uh, we then have the export options. So you will get the original size of the photo back uh, that you upload to us. You'll also get what we like to look at as a web resolution. Uh, that is a pretty standard size. The 1024 by auto is gonna be your standard web resolution size. And you can choose to have watermarked images in there as well. So you could choose a third one that you'd like watermarked. And there you go. You can upload a watermark down here in that section and select where you'd like that watermark place. Uh, for this example, I'm just gonna do two uploads and no watermark, or two exports, excuse me, and no watermark, and we are all ready to go. Again, flipping that red okay over to the up. Both of these will have to be flipped over in order for us to proceed to step two of the uploader. So in step two of the uploader, you'll see my address name up here. And this is where we actually are going to drag and drop or select our photos. So for this example, I typically shoot uh, three bracket HDR photos, and I'm going to click this enable auto grouping button so I can do just that. I'm going to auto group my photos by every three into HDR groups. This is fully customizable as well. So if you do shoot additional brackets, you can set that up. Or if you shoot, say, flambient, or would like manual blending, you can select that here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select some of my files right now. I'm gonna put three different final images, so nine exposures total into the uploader. And as you can see, it's automatically grouped those photos for me. And I'm gonna quickly collapse those groups as well. I'm also going to upload one exterior image, which I don't need to group, so I'm going to click that button off and simply drag and drop my file into the uploader. And you'll see that down here at the bottom. From here, we are essentially done. Uh, we can go ahead and flip this over to you up and upload the photos. But 
If we'd like to add things such as notes or premium add-ons, we can do that as well. So the ability to add notes to the whole entire order can be done up here. We also have the ability to do templated notes. So I have some notes specifically for Pat Smith, my realtor, which I'm gonna add here. And then for my HDR images, I do know that they are all interior shots and I'm gonna add those images to all my interior shots as well. So, oops. And after I'm done doing that, now I also have my one exterior shot, which I wanted to make sure that they follow some notes there as well. So I've saved those notes and can add them nice and quick. I did also remember that on that exterior shot, uh, I had a swing that I wanted removed. So I'll go here to my premium editing options uh, that is right here in this star icon. And you can see that we offer things like HDR window masking, flash shadow removal, lawn patching, lawn creation, data dusk, uh, or object removal. And for this example, it is gonna be an object removal. And I'm also going to want to add in here to please remove the swing from the tree. And I'm gonna save that note as well. So I'm all set and ready to go to upload my images. And over here, you can see that I'm uploading four final photos. I have two add-on credits and four standard credits for a total of six credits. And my photos right now will be sent back to me by 5 p.m. on Friday. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload those photos. Here you can see the progress bar for your files. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pause and let this upload and I'll be back in just a second. And I'm back and as you can see, our upload was successful and we are all set to go. So when the upload is successful, you will get an email saying that the photos were delivered to our team for editing and you will get a specific ETA. And then once photos are ready, you will get an email as well that looks just like this. Photos are ready for 123 Main Street. And in here, you'll get a link directly to the images and you also get a nice video that walks you through the process of downloading, rating, and reviewing your images. So from here, I'm gonna go into our 123 Main Street batch that has been edited so I can preview the images. Up here, uh, at the very top here, you'll have some options for downloading the edited photos, downloading the originals, or transferring them to a website. This is actually a partnership with our sister company called Folio Websites where you can send and deliver photos directly to your clients from our platform and also have them pay to download, meaning that they will have to pay you via an account that you set up through Stripe in order to download their images. So some nice little features there. Uh, we also over here have virtual staging and property websites uh, that are linked right to this specific batch. So you can send photos directly over to those two offerings from this page as well. But let's go ahead and get into the images and show you some of the features for previewing and reviewing your images. So in here, this is kind of our dark room feature that I like to call it. Uh, it gives you the ability to look at the before and after images. And if you remember, I wanted them to remove this swing from the image and it looks like they did just that, as well as a nice sky replacement, made the verticals nice and straight. And this photo looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my next image. This interior photo looks great as well. So I'm gonna keep on going. And the baby's room looks good. And finally, the bedroom. Uh, there is one thing I remembered that I didn't add in a note, and that was to remove some of these cords from the lamps in the room. So I'm gonna go up here into the upper left-hand corner and send back a free revision. Oops, let's go ahead and say, Please remove the cords. Now, I also am going to use this pin tool in order to pin my revision note directly on the image. This is really helpful for our editors so they know exactly what you're talking about. And so that we don't have any kind of mistake while we're trying to revise the images on our end. So I'm gonna add two notes there to go ahead and remove those cords. 
and then I would go ahead and submit the revisions here. We do have you rate and download all of your batches uh, before you send back any revisions or before you download the images. Uh, you'll see that we have four different rating options. Looks amazing, looks good, not good, and looks terrible. Uh, we have you rate all of your batches because this helps us assign your batches to the best possible editor on our team. By rating looks amazing or looks good, you're telling us that you would like that editor to edit for you more often. By rating not good or looks terrible, you're telling us that that editor did not do as good of a job and you would like them to either not edit for you as often or never edit for you again. Similarly over here, looks good says that you like the work, this ed editor can continue to edit for you, and looks amazing would say that you really would like that editor to edit for you as often as possible. Again, we will build up a team of editors around your specific ratings that you give them so you get more consistent editing time and time again. If you'd like more info on who your editors actually are, uh, that is where we have that EVA program again. That's an editing virtual assistant or a dedicated editor. Feel free to click that button there if you'd like more info. So we're all good here. I would just say that these photos look good. I can go ahead and submit those revisions and then we would be all set. When you submit revisions as well, you'll see that it will pull up a similar looking page and it just shows you that a revision is in progress and you'll see that revision image right here as well. We also have the ability up here to look at some of the notes that we added. You have order info in terms of the dollar amount that each of the orders cost and the metrics on your batches. That is all for our photo editing uploader. Feel free to ask us any questions if you do have any, and we look forward to working with you soon. Take care.